tonight we are on the Warpath. Oh, well, before I can even get to the match card here, apparently, going to be interrupted by the XL champion Zuko. And there he is. As everybody knows, last week on Excel 35, Roger Smith made the match official at the Royale Rumble on October 25th. That man, Zuka, will make his first title defense as he will step in the ring in a triple threat match with two people that he's had a bit of a run in these past few weeks in Akuma and the former XL champion, Paul Rook Glory. And for a first title defense, that has to be something that's going to worry Zuko. And you've got to wonder, Zuko is not happy at all that Roger Smith made that match official without his consent. Now, granted, Roger Smith is the general manager of Excel, so he really doesn't need Zuko's consent or permission. He can really much make that match official if he wants, but I'm sure Zuko's going to have some sort of grudge held when it comes to this decision. But we're going to find out how that happens. Crowd here in Lawrence, Kansas, truly not fans of Zuko here tonight. No surprise here. But the way he's won that title, the way he's represented ever since, who the hell can blame him? That is one angry XL champion right in front of you. And with that in mind, we're going to hear what Zuko has to say about it. And Zuko laying down the demand for Roger Smith. And this is going to get very intense really quick. Oh yeah, here we go. Music hits. There is Roger Smith. Yes, there he is. He's walking down to the ring right now. And you can tell he's a little bit befuddled. But Roger Smith is going to get down to the specifics here. And maybe Zuko's going to bit off more than he can chew with this demand. This one goes down here. It gets very intense, very quickly. Ho oh, ho ho ho! The threat being made by the general manager. Take it or leave it, Zuko. Very intense situation there, but folks, we are going to get to our opening contest here as he will go one on one against Ultraman Tega in a Royale Rumble Switch match. And this should be a fairly interesting contest to start off Excel 36. Whew! Ladies and gentlemen, I am Hakeem Johnson, your ACW commentator. As always, and we welcome you to another all-new episode of Excel with Excel 36 as we are on the road to the Royale Rumble, which is in three weeks. Three weeks, folks, the Royale Rumble is coming our way. And one of the premier matches in that mega event will be Zuko defending the Excel Championship against Haru Glory and Akuma in a triple threat match. You saw Zuko demanding answers. It looked like to the point that Zuko didn't even want to defend the title. And Smith pretty much laid the law down. Either wrestle the match that is official, or you can be stripped out of the title. And I think Zuko would rather take the former, if in my honest opinion. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here tonight on Excel 36, let's not also forget Zuko is in action. You know, Roger Smith made another match official for this week. It will be Zuko going one on one against the Demon Akuma in a non title matchup in our main event tonight on Excel 36. Plus, in another Royale Rumble Switch match, we've got Momochi Zabuza going one on one against Hibiki Tokai, which would be fairly interesting to see um, stepping off of the history between Momochi Zabuza and Kazuki Mudo. Uh, two weeks ago at Excel 34. And we still haven't really heard any updates from Kazuki Muto, but he will be at the Rumble come this October. And there's Ultraman Tiga making his way to the ring. Ultraman Tiga, one of the very characters that will be a part of the Gundam Wing All-Stars game that is available, yes, only in Japan, but is going to be available in the PS3 and PlayStation Vita. The Ultraman Tiga has been chosen as one of the people that will be involved with that Gundam All-Stars battle game that will feature various Gundam and Ultraman characters from the past. And Ultraman Tiga was elected to be one of them. So kudos goes to Ultraman Tiga for that. And here we go. There's a Royale Rumble Switch match as we get ready for the Royale Rumble coming up in a shortened moment's time in three weeks on Blip TV and VO. Remember, hashtag Excel36. Get a trending here tonight. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, wherever it may be. Even if you have a MySpace, I don't think people use MySpace anymore. But if you do, make sure you add me as a top eight, even though my account probably doesn't exist anymore. But nonetheless, any social media or video streaming site you may be at tonight watching this week, thank you for watching in all seven continents. Here tonight, and we've got fans from all seven continents. Trust me, I, I watch the analytics. Analytics. That's how you say it, right? Yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Let's not distract from this match, however, as now he a drop kicks Tigger from behind, and now he a another drop kick will send down Tigger. And he a another person that needs to be addressed fairly quickly. You know, he a look at this, look at this, Tigger! Nice tilt to world arm drag, more of a Lucha Libre arm drag from Tigger. Look at this Tigger now on top. He's got a Hurricanrana pin on oh, a shoulder kick out. Very fast and quick witted Ultraman Tigger is but as I was trying to say he ate last week on Excel made his appearance by distracting Aang and costing him and look at this Tigger with another arm drag from the ropes. But as I'm trying to say Aang went one on one against Solid Snake in another Royale Rumble switch match from last week and he ate out of nowhere interfered and cost Aang the win after distraction. And on a drop kick sends Tigger on a daze here. He a missed the grapple. Tigger yet again. That was a weird Hurricanrana, but we'll play along. And oh, look at that. Here's the cover. One, kick out. You know, ever since High Voltage, Aang has not been performing up to the standards that you would expect from the Avatar. And maybe some of it is not his fault. But let's be fairly honest, at High Voltage, he lost fair and square to Hiei. That cannot really be, de that cannot be debated. Even, even as much as I can't stand Hiei, the fact remains, in my opinion, Hiei was the better man against Aang at High Voltage. And now Aang lost to Solid Snake last week at Excel 35, his first match back from High Voltage. So I have no idea what the status of Aang is, and Aang is going to be one of the 20 participants in the Royale Rumble match. I, I, I gotta wonder that his chances of winning the Rumble at his current state are not that good, as he a misses that dropkick from the top turnbuckle. And Tigger stomp right onto the arm socket of Hiei, followed by a moonsault. And Tigger goes straight for the cover, one, and a shoulder right by Hiei. So I have no idea what's going on through Aang here, but hopefully he can get his groove back or something. Because the Royal Rumble is in three weeks. The winner of the XL. Oh, nice Manhattan style drop. But the winner of the XL Rumble match this year will go to Animania 3 in Madison Square Garden and compete for the XL Championship this December. As he is working on Tatiga here. And he is just really. Look at this. He a from behind. Nice neck breaker sends down Tigger. Goes straight for the cover. One, two, and a shoulder up by Ultraman Tigger. 
Look at that. He ate right back on the head here. And on a knee right to the face. And he, as much as you may not like him, and trust me, I am with you on that. As much as you may not like him, he is a very talented individual. He's really one of the better ta talents that we have on Excel. Could be argued in ACW in general. But man, has he made his impact on ACW in some of the most despicable and inhumane ways that I've seen a person do. And look at this, he Oh man, those karate strikes in the cover. One. Two and shoulder up yet again by Tigger. Tigger, nope, misses the grapple there. See a front headlock, elbow to the back of the head, punch, chop. Oh uh, no, punch blocked, punch by Tigger. Tigger now will go with the Irish to the ropes here. And oh man, nice hurricanrana by Tigger there. Now Tigger's gonna go up top, he is up. And a nice arm drag from the top turnbuckle from Tigger, the cover. One, two, and a shoulder up by Hie. Look at this. Tigger yet again. A nice Frankenstein there. Ultraman Tigger. And on oh, a kick right to the back of Hie. Trying to keep Hie a bit down here as he works on him. And look at this. Oh my goodness, a flip power driver by Tigger. Onto here, goes for the cover quick. One, two, so oh no, only a two count. Flip power driver from Tigger only gets a two count. Oh, and Tigger, the nice page turner there. Way more executed better from him than Page, in my opinion. And, oh, and he ain't saw that coming with the power bomb. One, Two. Oh, and a kick out by Tigger. As he had calculated that Hurricanrana coming. And power bombed him down before he even had the chance. That is the pretty much kind of technical prowess that he possesses in his matches and with his opponents. And look at that. He again with another power bomb reversal. He is up top. He a moonsault. No, Tigger ducked. Now Tigger's up top. And a nice hurricanrana from the top turnbuckle. Very awesome indeed. The cover one, two, and a shoulder up by Hiei. Fairly great matchup here. It's very interesting here that Hiei is fighting someone like Tiga when Tiga kind of resembles the kind of fighter Aang is. I would say Aang's a bit better, but Tiga is kind of a resemblance of that fighter. Oh, look at this. Third eye coming. Oh, no. Tiga reversed it into a DDT in midair. And goes quickly for the cover, but I think Hiei's ropes were just, Hiei's hands were just cl too close to the ropes there. Got tongue tied there. Misses the spinning wheel kick. Oh, but did not miss that side kick. Cover, but yet again, Tigas has Hiei too close to the ropes to even get a successful pinfall. And now Tigga will have Hiei up top here. What's he going for here? I think it's gonna go up top with here. Yeah, look, what is this? And oh my goodness! What was one, two, three? Oh no! Only a 2.9 count. I, that was awesome. That was like a reverse. Not even a not even a reverse hurricane. More like an inverse hurricane. Look at that. Speaking of hurricane, another hurricane. By Ultraman Tigga, and I believe Tigga's measuring Hiei up here. And Tigga has Hiei down. Oh, and a corkscrew! Corkscrew 450 missed by Tigga onto Hiei. But Tigga's still able to recover quickly. And oh, Hiei with an eye rake. And Hiei capitalizing quickly here. He's got it locked in. Third eye onto Tigga. On oh, the cover. One. Two, three, and that'll do it. And there's typical Hiei. Winning by cheating there with an eye rake that led into the third eye. Expect that clearly from Hiei there as Hiei wins this Royale Rumble switch match. And it looks like Hiei has the momentum heading into the Royale Rumble in that Excel Rumble match. He's on a roll. You cannot deny that. Wait a minute, what's he doing here with the mic?
sick human being. That's one sick son of a bitch if I've ever seen one. Get him the hell out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to XL36 as we get set for our second Royale Rumble Switch match between Momochi Zabaza and Hibiki Tokai. And speaking of which, here is Momochi Zabuza, who is, and I, I know it's my favorite word in the whole entire world, but he is indeed leading a warpath heading into the Royale Rumble. That's two weeks ago, that man right there Momochi Zawaza gave Kazuki Muta one of the biggest beatings I've seen in quite some time from the hands of Zabuza. And Zabuza at Excel 34 two weeks ago pretty much squashed Kazuki Muto in a match that saw him angry as hell that he is not the Excel champion as of right now. And he plans to go to the Royale Rumble to right a wrong in his own words. He will go one on one against his partner, Hibiki Tokai, who is looking to who is looking to avenge his partner after the way his partner had to go through Momochi Zabaza two weeks ago. Hibiki Tokai is no stranger to Momochi Zabaza because this is not the first time Momochi Zabaza has put out Kazuki Muto like this. Oh, wait a minute! Zabuza didn't even wait until Hibiki got into the ring and just clotheslined the hell out of Hibiki. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Slams his face right onto the ring post. And Zabuza, this has been Zabuza's whole ordeal for these past few weeks. He attacked his opponents before they can even get ready for the match. And Hibiki's going to look like to go through the same thing Kazuki went through two weeks ago. Zabaza has completely lost his ever-loving mind. And another clothesline puts down Ibiki. 
and this is bad. This is very bad. I, I've got to be honest with you. If if this is the Zabuza, oh my goodness, a big foot or a big sandal, but well, you get the point. I, I've got I've got to wonder th if this is the Zabuza working an experience at the Royal Rumble in just three weeks' time. Then the 19 other competitors in the Royal Rumble match for Excel better be on high alert because Zabaza has lost his mind. Zabaza is 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 obsessed with getting that Excel championship within his grasp and will have to go through anybody and anything to do it. Zabaza couldn't get the job done at high voltage. And now he's taking it out on other people that have nothing to do with it. And look at this! He biggie reverses into a tilt world DDT! And look at that! Calf kick followed by another tilt world DDT! And he biggie's fighting here! He biggie's got a lot on the line here! He's fighting for his partner here! He's fighting against the man that put his partner out who's not even here tonight! Oh no, calf kick missed. That could have been an opportunity wasted. But there's another calf kick. And Hibiki Tokai is fighting Momochi Zabaza head on. And that has to be respected. Kick to the gut. And Zabaza is just not affected by it at all. But Hibiki is still fighting here. Drop kick. Sends down Zabaza. Elbow drop onto the leg. That's one way to take him down. Hibiki. He's got it. One! Oh, and just a one count. It's gonna be taking more than that. And another drop kick sends down Zabaza. And Hibiki is, is fighting here. Punch! And, and Zabaza's dazed. Kick missed! Hibiki ducked under. Oh no, Zabaza's got the arm. He's got the arm. Oh no, this, this, this can't be good. Oh my god! A second clothesline from hell in this match! Oh no, oh, oh, and it, oh no. And this, and this is pretty academic at this point. Kenjutsu! One, two, three, and it is over. It was already over. Hibiki had his spurts of fighting back, but this, this Zabuza is just, um, he's almost He's almost immortal. And folks, you have to be looking at one of the clear favorites heading into the Excel Rumble match in three weeks. Because if Zabaza completes his mission with the way he's doing business here tonight, we may be seeing... Oh no. Oh no, and he's got the chair. Wait a minute, Donkey Kong! Donkey Kong coming to Hibiki's rescue here, saving Hibiki from, an, from a possible beatdown. And, and Donkey Kong saves Hibiki here tonight! How about that? And wait a minute! Now, now we're going backstage here and, and Danny Biki is being beaten down by Moroku Davis and Woody of Gamma! And Moroku did state he was going to take matters in his own hands. Oh, and this is probably what he was talking about. Surprising enough though, I don't see Sasuke. Where the hell is Sasuke? I see Moroku, I see Davis, I see Woody, but I don't see Sasuke. What's this now? Look at look at look at Moroku the mom. Oh the slams the hood onto the back of Dan. And where's Ken? I don't even know where Ken is. But Dan is getting gang assaulted here. Like we're like we're in South Central LA here or something. This, this is no good, and now Woody's gonna have his turn. Oh my goodness! Oh, look at this, Woody. Oh, to the concrete floor! That Simone roll drop. And now, Moroku tosses Dan to the car again. What's this? And he tosses him into the window! Oh my goodness! And Gamma looks to be taken back! What they feel is theirs. This is not good at all. Oh man, Dan is in trouble here. We need help. Damn Gamma.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to XL36. That is now time for our main event of the evening. And we'll get to this match in a few seconds, but we need to talk about what went down before the commercial break. As Morocco the Monk, Davis and Woody attacked and assaulted Dan in a three-on-one situation at the parking lot backstage. Or even saw Moroku toss Danny Biki on top of a car window. Right now, Dan is right now with our medical staff backstage, and hopefully, we'll get word hopefully by the end of the night or maybe this week into the conditions of Danny Biki. But man, Gamma is out here just trying to make statements left and right. And I, I have no idea what else they have in store for them. I honestly don't. We'll get you more information on Danny Biggie's condition. Hopefully as the show continues or maybe maybe later this week. But we go to the main event now as Zuko, the XL champion, will go one-on-one -on -one against the demon, Akuma. There he is, menacing Akuma. We made that eerie promo earlier this week that you saw earlier tonight near his stomping grounds as he's looking to gain the XL Championship for the first time ever in his career. That the days of Akuma playing the waiting game to have his potential recognized, those days are over. And he's going to make his presence known one way or another. And can Akuma follow up on his promise and get the job done at the Royale Rumble when he has to be in a triple threat match along with Zuko the Champion and Haru Glory? Who knows? Akuma. Angry as always, angry at the system, angry at the champion. It's, I, I've, I've been long since done figuring out what Akuma really wants. I mean, you have a guy like Akuma just come in here and just cause all hell and mischief ever since I've voltage. And yeah, he wants the Excel Championship, but at what cost? What are the lengths that are that Akuma is willing to go to for him to accomplish that. And Akuma misses the big foot two times and got it the third time there. Irish with Zuko yet again and got a big foot there. And now Akuma here. Oh, knee to the face. There's the Irish whip. And Akuma with a nice tilt to roll slam. What's this now? Akuma, nice spinning back suplex. And a clothesline sends down the champ, and there's another one. And a big foot yet again by, by, by Akuma. Akuma is more focused and more aggressive than I have ever seen him in the past, in, honestly, throughout his entire career here. An uppercut sends Zuko over the top rope. And Akuma daring Zuko to get back in the ring. The so referee starts counting, and Zuko's gonna take his time to get back in the ring, gonna catch his breath a little bit. And Zuko is trying to have second thoughts as to how he's gonna outmaneuver. And wait a minute, is Zuko is Zuko walking away here? And look at that, Akuma's high tail in the chase here, and Akuma has caught up to Zuko here on stage. 
And a clothesline sends down Zuko onto the ramp. And Zuko felt that one, I can tell you that. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Akuma, power bump onto the ramp! Oh my goodness, you can hear the sickening thud echo around that are this arena here. And Akuma, oh no, what's this? No, no, spinning back suplex onto the ramp. Well, Zuko signed up for, for, the, for the road that he chose when he won that Excel Championship. Now he's the Excel Champion. Now everybody has him as a target. And he has to prepare for the expected and unexpected. And Akuma sends Zuko over the steel steps. Knee first. And Akuma is just aggressive and intense with his move set right now. This is the most I've seen Akuma aggressive. And that's not good for anybody involved. Now, as everybody knows, Akuma and Zuko have a history here in HCW. Here's a cover. One, two, and a kick out. You know, Akuma has a history with HCW and the Royale Rumble in general. It was at the Royale Rumble in 2007 where Akuma made his HCW debut and went after Zuko, of all people, at that event, which led to their match at Animania, the very first Animania in 2007. Where Zuko, who was going through his blue spirit phase, here's the cover. One, two, and a kick out. As Zuko was going through his blue spirit phase, went one on one against Akuma in a first blood match at Animania in 2007, which saw Zuko win that match. And they have not really rekindled that rivalry ever since. Until now. So for Akuma, there's a lot of history that is riding into this encounter coming up at the Royal Rumble in three weeks' time. Where Akuma, the same event where he made his debut almost eight to nine years ago, is going to be the same event where he could potentially become the Excel champion for the first time ever. And what a full circle that would be for Akuma. But not as Zuko has anything to say about it. He is the current Excel champion. He won it at high voltage just three to four weeks ago. By capitalizing on Haru Glory in a weakened state, thanks to Akuma and Zabuza, let him trading his XL Road to Destiny Championship for him to become XL Champion with ease. And Haru has not forgiven or forgotten that whole encounter. Not just to Zuko, but to Akuma. So that triple threat match is going to be very personal for a lot of people involved. Now Zuko now, look at this. Zuko, guillotine onto the neck. Onto Akuma, here's the cover. One. Oh, no, only a one count. Look at this, Zuko. Oh, and a knee right square into the face of Akuma. Now Zuko going up top. And Zuko, no, Akuma reverses into a backbreaker. That's probably why we don't see Zuko go up top very often. Here's the cover one. And a shoulder up by Zuko. Now Zuko has the arm here. And no hammer lock. And pushes him back. Punch. Uppercut. Look at this, Akuma toss, no, Akuma hung down there. And Akuma forearm smashes, goes up top. Draw kick by Akuma onto Zuko. How often do you see that from Akuma? One, two, and a shoulder up. And Akuma here, big scoop slam. Leg drop to follow that up, brother. One, two, and the shoulder up. There's the Irish whip here. Zuko goes to the ropes. And uh, no, Zuko counters it to a back body toss. Now look at this Zuko. Close fist right to the face of Akuma here. And look at that. Zuko's going to get right back onto it. And for Zuko, this is smart. Zuko's trying to keep Akuma grounded here because he knows in a power game, Akuma has him beat. And probably more so in the striking game, Akuma has him beat. So Zuko's going to have to keep him grounded where he can be more efficient in wearing down Akuma, which is what he's doing right now. You can tell Zuko's holding his wrist, his uh, ribs there. Oh, look at that. Look at those punches to the face. Zuko here holding his ribs. 
you can you can tell that the offense of Akuma has significantly significantly affected Zuko here. But Zuko has a camel clutch locked in here. As the referee's asking for Akuma to give here, no, Akuma's gonna power out of it. Oh, and just scales back, making Zuko hit back first. That's the power of Akuma for you. And oh, and a straight DDT by Zuko and goes straight for the cover. One, two, and a shoulder up. And now Zuko now, Irish trips over the top rope. And Akuma yet again with another form smash. Goes back into the ring, but Zuko with a punch. Irish whip. And no, tilt the world slam. Reverses that high knee attempt. One, two, and a shoulder up. And a big clothesline. Sends down Zuko. Zuko's getting back up, but I think Akuma's measuring up for the brimstone here. And that's exactly what he's planning here. No, Zuko. Reverses into a backbreaker. Very smart. And he's going to work on that back with an elbow to the back. And another one. Again, Zuko with that strategy to keep Akuma grounded. Because in terms of striking and power, Akuma has him beat. There's no arguing that. So Akuma is going to be taken down in a different approach. But an elbow to the face there. Akuma's back up top. Dropkick yet again. Sends down Zuko. And now Akuma's going back up top. He's telling Zuko to get up here. And a big lariat from the top. This could do it. One, two. On oh, a shoulder up in the nick of time. You can tell that Akuma is also holding his ribs here. Probably due to the offense of Akuma. I mean, I apologize, Zuko working onto the back. Now it's affecting Akuma here as Akuma stomps on down Aang. I mean Zuko, why did I say Aang? Well, you know, Aang and Zuko are in the same show, so it's kind of similar, I guess. Whatever. So Akuma now has the arm here. And a kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Third eye. It's third eye? No. Dancing Dragon. But he doesn't have a Dancing Dragon! And Akuma's still up! He got up from the Dancing Dragon! Oh, he's going to do it again, though. He's going to go for a second one here. And then the second one! And, and, and Akuma's still getting up! Two dancing dragons, and he's bleeding, and he's still up! And Akuma reverses into a Samoa drop! How the hell does Akuma do it? I am in awe here! Oh, no. Choke slam. Down goes Zuko! And look at the way Zuko's neck bends! Oh my goodness! The cover! One! Two! Three! No! No, Zuko got the shoulder in just before the three count! But it could be very academic at this point! And this could spell bad for Zuko. No, Zuko goes under. Zuko! Is he going to go for the third one here? Third Dancing Dragon! And folks, that'll be it! The cover! One! Two! Three! Holy crap! Akuma's still fighting here! After three Dancing Dragons! What the hell else can Zuko do? And how the hell is Zuko... Oh no! Power slam! How the hell is Akuma still able to fight here? One, two, and the shut up. This, this has to be the physical and mental toughness Akuma has possessed these past few weeks that is making him do all this kind of stuff. Now Akuma here, Bigfoot. And the crowd chanting for Akuma here. And he goes straight to booze after Zuko comes back with that knee to the back of the head. What the hell can what the hell else can Zuko do? Zuko has tried three dancing dragons. And they haven't worked. Punch! 
And another one sends down Zuko. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Choke slam from the top turnbuckle! And now Kuma has to steal steps here. And this could be. Hey, wait a minute! Oh, Haru Glory! Haru Glory out of nowhere! And the referee's throwing this match off! But that's not the story here! And he tosses the steel step onto Akuma! And Haru Glory, he has not forgotten high voltage! And he's attacking. Oh my god! Attacking Akuma with the kendo stick here! And, and Akuma's fatigued and bloodied! And Haru Glory is relentless with that kendo stick! Oh my goodness! Haru Glory has lost his mind! Hell, everybody's lost their mind here on Excel apparently! And now Haru Glory measures up Akuma! Oh my god, not on the ramp here! Oh my god, Grave of Destiny! Onto the ramp! Onto Zuko! I mean, onto Akuma! But now he is heading to Zuko's way! And Zuko is already outside here in front of the Japanese announce table. As Haru Glory sees Zuko out here. And here, oh, and Haru Glory, he wants some of Zuko too. Oh my god, here we go. And Haru Glory's not done causing mayhem here tonight on Excel 36. And this is not good. It was Akuma that attacked Haru and Zuko two weeks ago. And now Haru looks to be returning the favor here. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god. Not not on the table. Oh no, Rave of Destiny. Onto the... Oh my god! Rave of Destiny through the Japanese announce table! And Haru Glory gives no Fs here tonight! Ladies and gentlemen, Haru Glory has made a statement. He wants his title back, and he wants it back now!